Welcome back guys to Let's Play Mother 3 and here I am in the transvestite town here. Let's see what this one's got to say. So sleepy. Yeah, well, I came from a cold place. Yeah, I kind of got that impression. Is that Alec? It is, it is. Good to see you, Snookums. Oh boy. My, my, who are those two? Don't be rude, I want to introduce us. <coughs> of course, where are my manners? This is my good friend Alec. And who's this with you? Flint, you say? Well, it's very nice to meet you. Now let's get you all properly introduced to us, the Mad Gypsies. You're in luck, we're having a party today. Nearly all of us are here. First we have Aeolia, and there's Doria, that's the big one down in the purple. Phrygia, I guess? Lydia, and that one over there is Mix of Lydia. The only one not here is Locria. You can call me Ionia. Hmm. You can't remember all that? Of course not. That's why I just introduced you, darling. Isn't that how it works? Right, Alecky Poo? Ugh. Oh, I can't do this. Okay, it's been a while. I'm glad to see you well. I hear you helped my grandson, Klaus. Do you know where he might have went? Yeah, where did Klaus go? Oh, you mean that rambunctious little squirt from a little while ago? Then I suppose this Flint fellow is his father. Hmm. Yes, I can see the resemblance now. You have the same eyes. Out with it! So what about Klaus? Where is he? Damn it. Oh, he took off. He was in a great hurry, mentioning something about avenging his mother. Something. I was feeling generous at the time, so I sent him on his way with a super powerful PSI technique. PSI. I doubt he'll be able to use it very easily, though. Hmm. So he left then? And you didn't stop him? What if something happens to him? Oh, get over yourselves. We couldn't care less about you humans here one minute and gone the next. You poor things barely live a hundred years at that. That's a blink of an eye to us mad gypsies. Why would anyone bother to care about such short lives? Ah, uh, it's all relative, you know. Now, now, mix with Lydia, Frigia. Humans worry about such short lives. Isn't that right? Uh, I understand how you feel. I really do. Get me out of here. <clears throat> I don't care if you understand or not. Just tell us where Klaus went. The boy headed for the Draco Plateau. Quite rambunctious, I might add. Yeah, I think you said that already. Barely, keep, barely seemed concerned about his own short little life. If you go now, you might just catch him in time. Draco Plateau, you say? Flint, let's hurry there. Let's go. Oh my god. <laughs> Flint. What? The quickest way to get through the Drago Plateau is through the to the Drago Plateau is through the cave behind this house. There's nothing to worry about, but you're not gonna get very far being as tense as you are. What you need to do is smile. Understand? No, I don't. My wife just died yesterday. Come on now, that's no good. Smile and relax. Alright, if you say so. But it's not like I'm gonna mean it. How could anybody? Okay, we're in the cave now, Flint. What? It's pitch dark in here, but never fear. Is it pitch black and covered in suit, too? I've been through here many a time. Just leave it to me. But more importantly, that super serious look on your face will only bring us trouble. You gotta relax, understand? No, I don't. Keep going west at this fork in the road. Alright. He will lead you the right way most of the time, except for, like, the last intersection he gets it wrong, but whatever. Stop for a second. There should be a hole around here. Find it and jump right down it. And straight ahead, just jump down the hole. You can pick up some items in here, but there's nothing really important. Flint. What? Follow the southeast passage. Fine. Okay. Oh, Flinty Poo. That was my Mad Gypsy impression. Do you like it? Relax, relax. Your daughter just died yesterday, and you're cutting up like uh, like it's Christmas morning or something. I'll tell you when this one early in advance. Head south at the next fork in the path. I'm not bothering with the presents because there's monsters around here, like Craig lizards and stuff, and I really don't feel like fighting those. Wait! Was that you? Just kidding, it was me. <laughs> Good lord. I mean, man, oh man, I'm like the biggest fan of fart humor in the world, and even I don't think that's the time for it. I don't know. I've been so forgetful lately. Which way was it again? Was it north? I'm pretty sure there's a vine to the north. We need to vine it and climb up it. <laughs> okay, you actually have to go west, though. If you go north, you hit a dead end, so that's all. The fact that there's a vine here means that my directions just now were wrong. Sorry, want me to say a pun or something? Huh, <laughs> I never saw that. I always followed the directions. Blindly, or vinely. North here, head north. Alright then. Flinty pie. Don't be so embarrassed. <laughs> okay, man, okay, okay, we get the idea. We're as good as there now that we've made it this far. Now we just need to head upward and climb up some vines. Divines go up because they're divine. Oh, come on, it's just a pun. 
Okay, maybe it's growing on me a little bit. Yeah, but these random battles sure ain't, I'll tell you that. Oh my god, another one? Okay, let's try this again. I believe we're pretty close to the end here. I just don't like this place. I hate not being able to see where I'm going. It drives me nuts. Here we go. Hey, we made it. Alright, there's another crag lizard there, so watch out for that. Let's see what's in here. Save frog. Since I haven't used one yet, what the hell. Save your game. Uh, yeah. Shoot, I'm spoiling stuff there. <laughs> Please be careful out there. Give my regards to the next frog you meet. Okay. I think there was something else for me to see out there. I might check that again a little later. Beef jerky. Uh-oh. What's going on up here? Say what? Say what? Get out of here. Hey, what are you so scared of? You could probably kick my ass. Some strange stuff you've never seen before is lying here. Well, yeah. You know, even if it wasn't strange, the fact that I'd never seen it before would still be true, wouldn't it? Uh, kind of. Sort of. Yeah, I never pass up an opportunity to rest at one of those if you get a chance. It's always a good idea. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna go check around out here and just... Okay, there's nothing... Oh, yeah, this is the other side of that cliff. See, the cliff here is crumbled, so... Yeah, well, we don't need to get across now. That'll just take us back where we were. You know, actually, I was kind of... <clears throat> oh, wait a second. The UFO's taking off again. Where are you going? You know, somebody actually left a comment that it reminded me of something I've seen on message boards a lot. And I kind of agree with it. It's really unfortunate that they didn't give Hinawa more screen time so that you could get to know her better. So that her, you know, that what happened would actually be more, maybe be more effective. Um, but I kind of, you know, I have mixed feelings because I do agree with that. But at the same time, I feel like, you know, I mean, this woman actually, like, did something. You know, just wait till you see the Drago. That's all I can say to that. Because she jumped in front of this thing, or whatever she did, you know, to protect her kids. I mean, I mean, she had to know that that thing was going to, whatever, that any interaction she had with that thing was not going to be pleasant. And if she allowed herself any more time, then whatever, it was going to be bad, and it was not gonna be pleasant, and she, I know she didn't want to die, if she was any normal person, she didn't want to die, but she did that, she took that chance to protect her kids, so, you know, I don't know what else needs, anybody needs to know about her, really, you know, it's like, I, wait a minute, oh, I can't combo to this music, man, <laughs> like I said, I mean, I don't, what else is there to know about her, what does anybody need to know? You know, I could give a shit what her favorite movie is, what her favorite song is, what kind of car she would drive, what other outfits she has, or any of that stuff that people know about each other, whatever that is. I mean, I suppose I wouldn't mind seeing her in a club titty-boo outfit, okay, but beside the point, I mean, the fact that she risked her life to save her kids, I don't need to know anything else. I mean, selflessness of that degree is probably something that most mothers would do, I'm sure, if they had, the, you know, the chance, but these trees will actually come to life, so you know, be careful. They're just like the, um, I'm going to get that, actually, because I think I need that. Oh, that tree's not even alive. Fresh lumber, but I can't carry any more stuff. All right, well, let's eat. All right. I got a lot of beef jerky here. I don't need this stuff. Fresh lumber. That's a new weapon. You got to have this. 50 to 60. Speed goes down a little bit, but that's okay. I mean, I've already got crazy offense as it is. I don't know how how much more I could possibly need. Oh my god, I'm up to 1033. I don't know if I have any... Yeah, I have a few random battles to edit out, including this one. Okay, we are back. Now, if I can show you this tree enemy... Well, I don't know if we're going to have time to do that, though. We're almost to the top, though. And once we get to the top, we get to fight the boss of the chapter. So... So, let's see, I rushed through that cave just to get to this point, really. There's a save frog. I'm gonna go ahead and go into this cutscene. It's the baby Drago, and he's playing with something. What is that? Oh my goodness. 
Huh. Uh oh. He sees us. Ah. Uh oh. He's not happy with us being here. Yikes. What was that he was playing with? One of Klaus' favorite shoes. Oh no. That was a baby Drago just now. Klaus must be around here somewhere. Oh dear. Oh. No, no, no. Well, we're going to have to wait till the next video to see how this pans out. So, um, I'll see you guys next time. Take care.